Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows. So today I just wanted to talk about something we've been discussing a lot in our house this week. And I don't know if you've seen the news of Pastor James Coates, I think I'm saying that right, from Canada, who was recently put in jail for preaching at his church. Um, he had been told by the Prime Minister, I think, of like he lives in Alberta, had been told that they were not allowed to hold church services because of the pandemic and the masking orders and that type of thing and that they should not be meeting for church. And he said, I'm sorry, but we can't abide by that because we still need to be meeting and worshiping God in the way God has told us. God has not told us to meet over Zoom. He hasn't told us to meet over Facebook. He's told us to still be the body of Christ, which is meeting together, encouraging one another, building each other up, prayer, fellowship, all of those things are part of the things that we're supposed to do in worship to God. And so he is currently sitting in jail away from his family and away from his congregation because he said, no, I'm sorry, I can't do that. You'll see another story of that in the Bible where um, they were told you can't be preaching and they said, I'm sorry, I need to obey God over man. So I just wanted to say, what are you doing to encourage your children to encourage yourself um, to be as firm in your faith as Pastor James Coates is. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that are standing and saying, yes, I support him. He should have done that. That it was wrong for the government to tell him he shouldn't do that. But there are many, many parents that are neglecting their duty to teach their children inside their house and there's nobody stopping them. It's schedules. It's just busyness with sports. It's busyness with wanting to watch the latest TV show or want to watch the latest movie or being at church events like youth group and things like that. All of those things are things that people make excuses of why they can't teach their own children to bring them up in the nurture of the admission of the Lord, which we're supposed to do. And so there's a pastor who stood firm on his belief that he needed to preach at church last or two Sunday mornings ago and that got him put in jail and we're not willing to take the time to teach our children in our own house God's word that we have and I'm just hoping that this is a challenge to people we spend a lot of our day here in the house doing Bible with our kids and we have that privilege right now as a country I know that persecution could be hitting soon and we might not have that privilege anymore and I want my kids to know that that is what the firm foundation of everything we do is. That's why we teach math the way we do. That's why we teach science the way we do. That's why we look at world events the way we do. Because God's word is true and God's word needs to be taught. And so if you're watching this video and you're not doing this with your kids, please write to me. I'd love to help you figure out ways of where you can fit in time to do this work with your kids. But don't stand by and say, yes, those Christians in China that are serving in the, in the persecuted church that are meeting underground are doing the right thing. And that pastor there that's in jail because he chose to preach, yes, he's doing the right thing. And yet I'm too lazy to teach my own kids. So I don't say that to be offensive. I think as a church, we need to stand up because persecution is coming and we need to be willing to step out of our comfort zone and teach our children about this God that we say we love, this God that sent his son to die for our sins and we can't even find time to tell our kids about him. So, hope that was an encouragement. See you guys next time at Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God.